day number six in Mexico. I honestly thought that it would not be this difficult to get a coos deer down. It's been pretty disappointing and humbling at the same time. I, uh, I've been within 40 yards, probably six different Pope and Young coos deer, a couple of them big. And I just couldn't get a shot. It's everything down here, which by the way, pokes and stabs you, um, is 36 inches tall, 32 inches tall, which is about how tall the coos deer are. So I just haven't been able to get a shot at any of them. So on the sixth day, I'm sitting out a blind, hoping something comes to water, which that's even a long shot maybe because it's been raining and snowing here for about three days, maybe four days. So, yeah, it's the last day. I gotta fly home tomorrow. I'm bummed I couldn't do a spot and stock, but I don't know, I guess the day's not over. I've been in this ground blind for three and a half hours. I'm going absolutely insane. This is the longest I've ever sat in a blind. I have no idea how whitetail hunters do it. How can they can sit in these blinds and just hang out. I'm going crazy. I can see mountains around me and I found myself glassing from my blind. So, I don't know. We'll see. My hopes aren't completely bashed yet. for supper tonight. A dirty little pig. <laughs> They're funny freak man. They're like cartoon characters. Our uh, Evelina looks like he went about 20 yards. Like a good double bag shot. He's laying right over here. First javelina. That is a Mexico javelina there. Predator call. They all came running. One pig dead. Mark it off my bucket list of animals to get. We're in Mexico. He made it 20 yards. And we got javelina eat to eat tonight. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but maybe we'll give it a whirl. Thank you.